Hey guys, what's up? This is Fedor and I want to give a quick recap on our Grindhouse project, which I absolutely loved. So Johannes had this idea in the first place to bring together people in a house. We can guide you, we can assist you, we can give you all the necessary tools, but we cannot make you better. You have to make yourself better. In the next um, eight weeks, I try to put in as much effort as I can. My expectation going into the grindhouse was basically to see how far we can get a group of young Poker Code members if we put them in, a, in the same place for a few weeks, support them the good, as good as we can, give them the necessary tools. And yeah, I think it worked out really good. Yeah, I just want to develop new routines, find a better, more effective way of studying the game. How are your first impressions about the application, Martin? I like it. How do you like it? I also like it. <laughs> We've done this in the past on Sherry Island and Costa Rica, bring together some really good motivated people and help them improve. And so this time we wanted to get it to the next level, to professionalize it more and to help some really young and aspiring people. And I think we found a perfect crew. Hey guys, Johannes from the Poker Code team here. So over the course of the last months, we have accompanied each other through the Grindhouse project, where we really tried to basically test our own beliefs of challenging the poker industry uh, to its limits. And actually I want to do a small recap on how we perceived it, how we actually set up the whole project, um, how it was planned, how it was implemented, what dimensions there might be in there that you might not take into account as a viewer or as a fan or as a Team Poker Code member. And yeah, we thought it might be enjoyable for you guys to, to receive some insights. Basically in April this year, as I can recall it correctly, um, we booked a land house together um, in Lower Austria near Vienna and actually spend some days there playing wizard, playing poker, discussing poker, spending some time in nature, um, playing football, like doing everything that you enjoy in a group of friends basically. Klaas Segebrecht was there with his lovely wife and daughter and Mario had his girlfriend Amanda and um, all the boys from the Grindhouse literally were there, some of our friends and Fedor um, was also there the whole time and it was extremely enjoyable and actually I can, can, I can recall myself thinking within that time that actually we would have to film that, actually we would have to capture that scenery and capture that vibe and that dynamic because it was so intense for all the boys, they were improving massively, they could look over um, Klaas' shoulder while playing, Fedor um, shared his insights with the boys. The best moment I would say be with the crew uh, at the house. Simon arrived yesterday and everyone prepares a topic that he wants to talk about or a hand or general idea and then we group all together. We had the, the privilege to be surrounded by the amazing Austrian landscape, which were insane. You could really feel the passion, you could really feel the, the hunger. Uh, something I spe uh, specific could relate to when I was a bit younger. I was just the, the will to, to conquer the poker world is, uh, is priceless. And then I think everyone out of the group had the idea of, okay, let's, let's produce this. Let's share this experience with the poker code community, with the team. Let's find some sort of um, idea on how we can actually produce this or, or just share the vibe because as you guys know Fedor attributes a lot of his success to the community to the people he has shared his experience of, of grinding his way up in poker too and actually that's also the motivation and the drive and passion behind the poker code as such to activate and empower the community in order to progress um, and challenge your, your way in poker um, efficiently so basically the idea was there okay I think in everyone's head let's let's do something similar let's get, put a video maker on, on it and just produce it right
and basically trying to get all the team into okay the idea yeah to get the seven guys um accompanied by our head coaches arming them with all our assets of our fantastic partners poker codes full access our videos our range viewer everything that we could provide and that we think is necessary or the optimum in order to strive in mtt poker and um, therefore the idea was planted but obviously an idea or a vision is only worth as much uh, because you need to actually start implementing and that's where the the project project got let's say chaotic or at least um, very thrilling, uh, sometimes draining, often or always exhausting but eventually very rewarding because um, First of all, what do you need for a grand house? Or grand house, it was very clear that that would be the name. We were also in love with it. There was no discussion around it. Um, but actually, what do you need? You need the location. Um, you need all the assets from Poker Code itself. You need the the team coaches, the head coaches to work into it. You you ideally get your partners in that support the project. You ideally have a cook. You ideally have a cleaning lady. This is in the canteen now, Yes. Hey, smacked up a bit, Yeah, 100%. My role was to make sure that all the boys had enough food and a good variety of food and nutrients so that they could continuously grind um, online poker for the course of 8 to 16 hours a day, which is already quite a f impressive feat in my opinion. You need to film it, you need some filmmakers who can eventually um, dedicate one or two months of their whole life to this project and you then need to and this was where we were pretty blindsided and not so educated and don't have the didn't have the in-house experience yet you need to post produce it all you need to cut it you need to produce it you need to um, eventually do a lot of work in order to get it on YouTube eventually because in the first place the agreement was with Maro you might need, know him from the episodes or the, the, the last episode and was that he would film and he would post produce <laughs> at the same time so he said okay he had done the tour with the famous German rapper before where he was filming the whole day and then cutting it in the night and it would be no problem and he can do it for two months straight no problem and the the on top of that we have to say that Maro isn't even into poker he's not so much related with poker he can't even play himself and as you might have seen in some episodes it, especially in the beginning he might have been filming the wrong table or uh, might have gone to sleep before a deep run um, ended right so that's also a learning, but I'll get into the learnings later on of who as a team you gather and who is happily really working into it. But obviously, find someone who dedicates so much time to this project, and we were ultimately very happy that Maro would do it. Um, but two weeks in, um, or it, one week in, we realized, okay, um, Maro wouldn't even be able to do all that. Uh, we need to find someone for post-production, and that's where my friend Pascal kicked in, who I uh, <laughs> who I chopped the the master class back then, the initial course that we imagined to play out in May 2019 on his couch in Hamburg. Um, he actually, um, yeah basically relieved us from that problem situation where we didn't have any post-production available and then f started cutting together with Milko who was very new to the poker code as a as head of content of starting to take a lot of ownage and then ultimately producing the first episodes which was great the poker code grindhouse was such a sick project uh, i came uh, in the poker code family halfway through july and suddenly out of nowhere johannes just dropped this project on me like go ahead, uh, make the content out of it, how you feel it should be. So it was a kind of a, a blank canvas, but at the same time, obviously, they had uh, quite, uh, quite a couple of expectations of the project. One month or two weeks would have been too short, right? Because the guys have to get to know each other even more, work, living with together, um, get to know the experience. They they have been dedicating quite some time to poker beforehand, but not to that extent. So they had no experience on how to work on their game effectively, on how to study their days in routines, to work with, with assets like the A-game masterclass from Elliot Rowe, um, or DTO poker very intensively and uh, we also got Prime Mind on board um, which we were fascinated about um, as well as obviously Hold'em Resources Calculator which were other fantastic partners so there was a lot to take in right and um, yeah we set the time scope for two months in summer 2020 uh, scouting for the locations it, has, it was an extensive procedure where you need to um, approach all these owners of the houses you need to find the timelines etc line with the boys that cars are there they need to 
park them, there's fees for that. So there's a lot attached, it's just very natural and, and um, everyday life stuff, but you would simply underestimate it if you believe, okay, let's put the boys in a house, put a filmmaker with it, produce it, put it out and people will enjoy it. Which was basically the only motivation, like showing, okay, poker is a team sport, we want to empower the community to help everyone progress as the player he wants to. Um, yeah, it was, let's say, just more extensive as we as we um, anticipated it. So basically, um, we had to move between locations, we had to travel with the filmmaking, etc. Um, so obviously Maro couldn't stay for all the time, so I started approaching on Facebook a group, um, the Filmmakers Austria, and I got offers from between 150 euros per day to 2k per day, and that's the range you need to work with then. And having realized that Maro, um, as a non-poker player, has very much trouble identifying, okay, what is now important to film, what are the questions I need to ask, um, it was obviously super hard to find someone who is passionate who would do it for a reasonable amount for us um, as I said you need to just keep keep uh, care of the budget because we mainly want to focus on our product and um, yeah, and ideally someone who even enjoys poker as such and then we tested out two or three candidates I have to say it like that uh, guys who joined the house from time to time who were also very spontaneous and flexible which was great because sometimes someone gets ill has another shooting gets a new job which is more lucrative so we need to be flexible so lots of complexities here on the HR front not on the locations front as well but eventually we found Kevin who we're super happy with Kevin shoutouts um, very passionate poker player he even traveled to um, Bratislava then with Martino and Fuchs and overall did a fantastic job staying through the nights, basically sleeping and then when Fedor pinched him, hey I have a deep pot starting the camera again, um, that was when Rainer and Fedor grinded with the boys in the penthouse for example, that was very enjoyable times obviously. And I mean what did I expect? I expected to become a better poker player throughout those two months and have a great time of course with my friends and I think that's like that was really the case because yeah I think I improved a lot at the poker tables. I feel much more confident. There are way less spots where you ask yourself, okay, um, what shall I do here? So you have an answer for more spots. So first of all, I really have any expectations going into the grindhouse. I just went into the house and wanted to see what's going to happen. And then um, in the first days, Fuxel came up with the idea to write down some goals on a piece of paper. And for me, it was all just about creating new habits. Um, it was taking a cold shower every day, meditate every day, and having uh, a good fitness routine. The habits you build, the system you build is key to success. It's not about the goals, it's about the habits you have. And there's a funny story. Um, I used to be a professional athlete in ski jumping for 9-10 years and wanted to become the best ski jumper. And um, when we all started, we, we all wanted to win a gold medal, to win the championship, the world championship. But uh, right now only one guy is remaining, ski jumping. And this, is, this was the guy with the best uh, habits, with the best routines. And he's now uh, on the top of Austria, the ski jumpers. And spending time with the boys from time to time was just really great because the vibe in the house was so natural and so so energetic so so strong um, which was really really just great and um, playing paintball with them giving them some some other stuff to do because they're just otherwise burning out basically um, playing paintball going to the club from Weidelbad which is a fantastic public pool in Vienna or just um, yeah them having to go on a mini golf course or something coordinating all that um, so that they can get their heads off on a, on a Monday or Saturday to be really fresh at the tables mindset is very important as you guys know I visited the Grindhouse a few months ago, 
to make sure the guys are entertained properly and to show them great magic show. Uh, <coughs> wow! <laughs> Subscribe to Fader Halls. <laughs> it's also worth it. It was one of the best decisions of my life. Right after I purchased Poker Code. <laughs> that was the best decision of my life. <laughs> I'm still not able to make the money back that I spent on Poker Code, but I'm on the way. <laughs> so last year I met a guy at an event. His name was Fader Holtz. And we were the only guys under 100 years old, so <laughs> we became friends. It was a lot of fun. And he told me about his little project called Poker Code. And I was hooked. And then Johannes reached out. He was like, hey, you want to come to Vienna and uh, hang out with the guys? And I was like, of course. Hello, Alex. Alex. Hi, grüß dich. Oh, hi, grüß dich. Hi. Hi. Hello, hi. Ah, hi, grüß dich, Alex. Genau. Das ist der Alex Jungs, Magier, Weltmeister und Poker Code Unterstützer. Azubi. <laughs> Ja, ich habe dir ein Video angeschaut mit Fede, das war richtig gut. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Du ja. warst das. Cool. Ja, von mir? Ja. Genau, also. Geh nach Hause. <lacht> Aber ich meine, das ist deine Entscheidung. <lacht> ja, dann weg damit. Also. Ist schon nicht schlecht, aber. Sicher mit dem Lader so. Ich meine, es gibt so natürlich auch noch andere Möglichkeiten. <lacht> The biggest improvement was, I think, the preflop game, where I'm now noticing a lot of improvements and leaks that I had that I was able to fix. Um, and I think that is the biggest impact on my win rate after the grind was now in September, also playing higher stakes, um, as well as being always in touch with Fedor, Matthias, and the other Poker Code team, and constantly getting feedback on how to play hands, what to improve and also how to improve the study process and I think that's why um, Poker Code helped me a lot being able now to play the high stakes online. We had a great time, studied a lot and um, collected a lot of great memories I think. So right now I'm, I'm sitting here in my, in, in my living room, in our living room in our new living room um, with Gauge on the couch and uh, we moved uh, to Vienna and yeah so let's start the, the grind together My favorite moment of the Grandos was for sure the second um, place from Gagi at the WSOB event. Um, it was insane emotions. Um, we screamed every time he only stole the blinds. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Come on. Good luck. 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 For the whole Grand Ops, it was uh, for sure a, se a Gaugi second place finish, and um, where we all railed him and cheered him on. Uh, f yeah, that was awesome. Especially like, you know, all of us running into the pool in the garden and going crazy. For it was a crazy moment. <laughs> It was just an amazing experience. We were up all night long, cheering and shouting for him. Hold! 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 Hold, Hold the baby! No. Ah, hit. Queen, hit. hit! Come on, hit! hit. Queen! Hit. Once in a life, once! Yeah. Yeah. Chichi. Chichi, bro. He's so tepid. That's not fair.
like my biggest score so far and even though I ho had only like small pieces it meant like really a lot to me and it was just a, like a pleasure to enjoy these moments with the boys who all had pieces as well and um, like making profit profit for the group and and staying up all night and celebrating in the morning was like super super cool and super fun and yes we are we are very proud of Florian and ja, aber das ist genau das, was wichtig ist, Bruder. Dieses, die Preparation, dass ihr Training gehabt habt, dass du ein bisschen frisch warst. Mhm. Auch das Schwimmen in ich der Break war, war gut. Ich war eh arg lang Schwimmen frisch, gut, aber ja. um 10 in der Früh wirst du irgendwann schlau. Ja. Um, what I remember the most is Definitely the, the, the Grand House End Party, it was like super super fun, uh, we enjoyed like a super nice meal and had some drinks and got drunk. Ich muss auch ganz ehrlich sagen, es ist sehr schwierig, hinter der Kamera ein Feedback zu geben. Du bist vor der Kamera, du bist vor der Kamera, ihr zwei seid vor der Kamera und das ist your time to shine. Das ist dein time to shine, Leute! It's very tough to find locations, filmmakers, post-production. Um, there's so many complexities of such a project and we're just insanely happy how we pushed it through, how, how, what an environment we could provide for the boys, offering all the study tools, playing on Pokehood by GG, Fedor, Matthias, Igor, shout outs to them, best head coaches ever. And I think the guys are hyped and I hope they continue their way because it has been tremendous what they've achieved and how much they've progressed. Anything you want to say to Fader? Yeah, he should work on his dancing skills a little. <laughs> but his poker skills are actually quite nice. We wouldn't have done it if we had known how expensive um, or at least complicated it would have been. Um, but we just stick together, we just try to do our best um, in every situation, stayed spontaneously and flexible. And um, yeah, it was an insane project in my opinion. And we all enjoyed it so much and the content is just so rewarding. And it actually shows how cool it is to play poker, how cool it is to experience poker with friends, to grow and learn and dedicate yourself and focus and go through all the ups and downs. Uh, it's just so fascinating. And our goal is to provide the ultimate environment for that through our community and tools and platform. And such projects just um, keep our belief and strengthen our belief and our vision in that because that's what we want to achieve enabling, empowering the community and creating supportive environments for poker enthusiasts. Uh My role in the Grindhouse was to support. Everyone as good as I can. I was there, watched each other during the session. Afterwards we talked about the hands, about the thought process. So just trying to be as supportive as I can. But guys, if you do it for yourself, meet, rent your own grand house, meet with friends, uh, go to a, like a, uh, some escape or some, some apartment or some house together, do it, right? You neither need the filmmaker, you neither need the cook or the cleaning lady, hopefully. Just do it, even if it's just three days or one week. It's so great. Uh, you, you just take so many shortcuts towards progress um, because you're just so dedicated and focused. And ideally put some rules for the house, some, some guidelines. Um, obviously what we did it is no cheating, no collusion, um, no only ghost, uh, no ghosting, but just railing. Obviously, uh, <laughs> rail, rail was pretty insane in the grindhouse. And then obviously saying, hey guys, you are focused. You work with all the tools. You work with all the assets, um, and not having them there and being on vacation for two months, basically. So that's our huge belief. I think that's also what I can recommend: like injecting culture, injecting logic, and injecting discipline within the house. No matter if you go with your best friend or with ten strangers, um, for example. Our team poker code community, many have already discussed, hey, let's go on the grindhouse as well. Uh, Philip has suggested Costa Rica is living there, he has some space. Um, so just do it, right? Don't plan too much, do it, and the experience will be fantastic. The grindhouse project has been absolutely successful. I'm super happy about the result. I can't wait that we do more of these and make it publicly available for more people to join so that you have the chance as well to participate and I couldn't have wished for a better outcome of that project. If we do a Grand House next edition, for example, Bali or Croatia or some cool location, um, 
then we will open it up for application. We don't know how many spots yet. We don't know if we will sell the rest of the spots or if we will um, draw them. Um, but what we will definitely take care of is that the culture in the house will be good, that there will be culture fits, like personality fits within. And um, the value of such a two weeks or mo one month grinders experience is so insane that obviously we will also um, need to see how we can uh, yeah, fund it basically. Probably we will sell some spots for some for application, which we will then give away would be a good mixture and um, certainly um, it will be fantastic again. A shortcut to quick bucks working all the time Renting out your mind and saving every time Cause in ten of those combined They cross your sacred line And go from pocket chain Ask me where I wasn't when